This is our first video where we're going to be working out examples using implicit differentiation. First example is to find dy dx when cosine of y equals 1 over 18 times x squared y cubed. Now remember if we look at this equation, y is not a function of x. Here is its graph. It fails the vertical line test. But the idea is we're considering y as an implicit function of x. So whenever y is on the inside, we'll have to be using the chain rule. Whenever there is a function of y times a function of x, we'll have to use the product rule. So let's take the derivative. So the derivative of the outside of cosine of y would be negative, negative sine of y times the derivative of the inside, which is just dy by dx. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to use the product rule. I'll consider 1 over 18 times x squared as my f function, and then y cubed will be my g function. So the derivative of the first is just going to be 1 over 18 times 2x, and I'll have to multiply that times the second, y cubed, plus the first, 1 over 18x squared, times the derivative of the second. So using the chain rule, I'll have 3y squared times the derivative of the inside, dy dx. And now remember the idea is I'm going to do some algebra. I'm going to collect all of the terms that have a dy dx on one side, all of the other terms on the uh, other side of the equation. So here I would have um, dy dx times negative sine of y. And then I'll have minus 1 over, see, 3 goes into 18 six times, six times. So 1 over 6 x squared y squared times dy by dx. And that is going to equal, simplifying 1 over 18 times 2, I get 1 over 9 x y cubed. My next step is to factor the dy dx. And so I'll have minus sine of y minus one-sixth x squared y squared in brackets equals one-ninth x y cubed. And then solving for dy dx, I get one-ninth x y cubed over minus sine of y minus one sixth x squared y squared. So in our next example, we have the curve tangent of x minus y equals 
y over 1 plus x squared. Again, looking at the graph, uh, y is not a function of x, uh, but we're going to take it as an implicit function of x. So let's differentiate both sides uh, with respect to x. So the derivative of tangent would be secant squared. So secant squared over xy. And I'll have to multiply that times the derivative of the inside. The derivative of x is just 1. The derivative of minus y would be minus dy by dx. On the right hand side, I'm going to use the quotient rule. So the derivative of the top would be dy by dx. That gets multiplied by the bottom, 1 plus x squared. Now subtract the top, just y, times the derivative of the bottom, which is 2x. And that will be all over the bottom squared. So let's see how much of this algebra we can do. Um, I'm going to first multiply through by 1 plus x squared quantity squared. That'll get multiplied by secant squared of x minus y times 1 minus dy by dx equals dy by dx parentheses 1 plus x squared minus 2xy. So I'm going to collect the dy dx terms on the right hand side and in fact I'm going to be a little bit more Uh, savvy about where I put things. I already have a 1 plus x squared times dy dx on the right hand side. And I am going to be adding to that quantity 1 plus x squared squared, secant squared of x minus y. What's that going to equal? Well, I am going to have quantity 1 plus x squared, all squared, secant squared of x minus y plus 2xy. I'm going to be careful there with the algebra. I'll have to actually think about this a little bit before I publish it. But then solving for dy dx, I would have quantity 1 plus x squared squared times secant squared of x minus y plus 2xy in the numerator. And then in the denominator, I will have a 1 plus x squared plus quantity 1 plus x squared squared that times secant squared 
of x minus y. And there's no simplification I can perform because I don't have a common factor of one plus x squared in the numerator and the denominator. All right, here in example three, look what we're doing. We're going to find dx dy. So up until now, we've been finding dy dx. So we're going to treat x as the dependent variable, y is the independent variable. Now granted, this is not implicit differentiation because we've actually solved the equation for x. x equals y squared plus 2y. But I just want to get used to the idea that we can differentiate with respect to y. We treat x as a function of y. So dx by dy here is just going to be 2y plus 2. All right, that was pretty simple. Let's do another one. Here we are going to be using implicit differentiation because we don't have this equation solved for x. And we're going to try to calculate dx by dy. In other words, we're treating x again as the dependent variable, y as the independent variable. So now, since x is a function of y, when I differentiate with respect to x, that's when I'm going to be using, I'm sorry, when I differentiate a term that contains x, that's when I need to use the chain rule. So I'm going to get the derivative of y is just 1 equals 2x times dx dy. Remember, I'm differentiating with respect to y. And so I use 2 times x, that would be the derivative of the outside, and the derivative of the inside would be the derivative of x with respect to y, which is dx dy. And so a uh, simple algebra here, dx by dy equals 1 over 2x. All right, so let's compare. I have an equation here. Let's compare the expressions for dy by dx and dx by dy. Let's start with dx by dy, since that is what we did in the previous two examples. So we have to focus here. Remember, we're differentiating x with respect to y. So let me just make a, a note here that we are finding dx by dy. So I would have 2y equals 3x squared apply the chain rule, dx by dy plus 6x, apply the chain rule again, dx by dy. So 2y equals dx by dy in brackets 3x squared plus 6x. So that says that dx by dy equals 2y in the numerator over 3x squared plus 6x in the denominator. Okay, so let's divide the page. And on the right hand side, we're going to find dy by dx. So y is a function of x. All right, so now I have 2y and apply the chain rule times dy dx equals 
now I'm differentiating with respect to x, so I don't use the chain rule at all on the right-hand side. So I'll have 3x squared plus 6x. So simple algebra here, dy by dx equals, in the numerator, 3x squared plus 6x, and in the denominator, 2y. Now, it is not a coincidence that dx by dy is the reciprocal of dy by dx. That is always the case. So let's actually make a note of that. So in a way that gives us a shortcut if we're asked to calculate say dx by dy if uh, we're not comfortable with doing that we can calculate dy by dx and then just take its reciprocal. All right our last example in this first video then is to find an equation of the tangent line to the curve x squared minus y squared equals 2y plus 1 at the point 0 comma negative 1. So when we find uh, the slope of the tangent line, it's always dy dx. Uh, so differentiating with respect to x, I would have 2x minus 2y dy dx equals 2 dy dx or 2x equals 2y dy dx plus 2 dy dx. So 2x would be dy by dx in brackets 2y plus 2 or dy dx equals 2x over 2y plus 2. And I could simplify that but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go ahead and do the evaluation. Remember when we evaluate we put this vertical bar and then I say I'm going to substitute uh, x equals 0 and y equals negative 1. And I see I have a problem here because I should have been more careful with my example because when x equals 0 y equals negative 1 uh, I have an indeterminate form. So we'll try to come up with a better example in the next video.